Well, Minister for Indigenous Australians Ken White has hit out at the Northern Territory Government over the state of housing in remote communities. Speaking at a gathering of Aboriginal land councils in Darwin, Mr White threatened to take the provision of housing out of the Territory Government's hands if it doesn't lift its game. These pictures were taken in the remote Indigenous community of Minyeri just three years ago. They're a graphic example of the deplorable state of housing in parts of the Northern Territory. We have to challenge the status quo, reimagine norms and challenge ourselves to do different and better. In an address to a gathering of land councils in Darwin, Minister for Indigenous Australians Ken Wyatt hit out at the Northern Territory Government over its failure to deliver adequate housing for Aboriginal people. And this is despite the Commonwealth committing to providing the Northern Territory with $550 million over five years to deliver 1,950 new bedrooms, equivalent to 650 houses in remote NT communities. When it came to power in 2016, the anti-Labor government promised to spend $1.1 billion on remote housing over 10 years, or $110 million a year. But in four years since, it spent a total of just over $200 million, building 110 new homes. We deliberately have a remote housing program that will scale up. We want to do that to maximise local employment. The Commonwealth government knows that, and the next budget there'll be even more money again to remote housing. The Commonwealth has also fallen short of its targets of the $550 million it promised. Just $110 million has been spent, with most of that money going to repairs and maintenance, not new homes. We provide the total funding through agreements to the jurisdictions, and in this case it's the Northern Territory. So it's, once we give them the money, it is their responsibility. Meanwhile, overcrowding in remote Indigenous housing is getting worse. There are now 2,515 overcrowded homes in the NT, up from 2,458 in 2016, although the proportion of overcrowded homes has fallen from 58 to 57 per cent. Ken Wyatt has threatened to bypass the NT government and deal directly with land councils to build new homes. I think it's important to keep the Northern Territory Government at the table. Uh, Matt, I, I think uh, cutting the Northern Territory Government out will cut out their responsibility for Aboriginal Territorians. Coronavirus restrictions mean it's been a long time between visits for the Minister for Indigenous Australians, but he's making up for lost time. He'll spend most of this week in the Northern Territory, including trips to Jabiru, Tennant Creek and Alice Springs. His visit coinciding with continued debate about the merits of an Indigenous voice to Parliament. What I find frustrating is when I have people who tell me what is best for Aboriginal people in the community. When you ask, have you been out to a remote community? Have you been out to talk to people on the ground? They say no. He says those voices have been silenced for far too long. I just find it heartbreaking to see three elders living in a tin shed in a first world country. Matt Cunningham, Sky News.